Let's imagine it's 20 years from now and you're earning $210,000 passive income. How are you spending it? How are you living? And what does life look like at that point in time? Now, that's the kind of stuff that you want to be dipping into. That's the motivation that will help you go and build a property portfolio. And that's part of the reason why people use property as an investment vehicle to become financially free. Now, in this instance, we're going to show you why to build a portfolio and how specifically to do it. Um, I'm trying to be very conservative with a growth rate of 4.75%. Now, over the past 35 to 50 years, properties have grown between 6 and 8%. That's not to say that it's always going to be that way. So that's the reason why I'm trying to be conservative. So we've bought a $500,000 property. We put a 20% deposit. So that means your loan amount is going to be $400,000. Now, at 4.75% as an average growth rate, sometimes the market goes up, sometimes it goes down, but as an average over seven and a half years, the property will be worth about $750,000. So at that point, you would say, well, what do we do with all this additional equity? You go back to the bank and they will say, we will loan you 80% of the total property value. So if the property value is 750, 80% of that, would be $600,000. So what we do is we increase the $400,000 loan by $200,000 up to uh, $600K, and we use this $200,000 to go buy another property. Now, in this instance, we've decided to buy a better quality asset or something that's a bit bigger and nicer, so we've spent a million dollars. So the total property value at in 2028 is 1.75, it's the million plus the 750,000, and your total loan amount is 1.4, it's $800,000 plus the $600,000 that we've got over here. Now, let's just assume in this situation that we don't want to um, keep reinvesting, we just want to leave the, the two properties and let them run. So, we let them run over 15 years, so the total portfolio has now doubled in value again. It's, 20, uh, it's 2043, it's been 22 years since we started this journey. The value of the property is now worth, or total portfolio is worth $3.5 million. The total loan amount remains the same at 1.4 million. And the net result means you've got a $2.1 million, um, $2 million worth of net assets. So if you were to sell all your properties, and you pay down all your debt, you'd have $2.1 million in today's cash. If we were to use that $2.1 million and reinvest it at different rates, at 5%, you'd have $105,000 worth of um, income. At 10%, you'd have $210,000 worth of passive income. Now again, we've tried to be conservative. We've, we've, we've not paid down the debt. We've used an interest-only loan structure. And we've done all of this to try and simplify it all. Now, if you were to be a more aggressive investor or if you were to get better growth rates than 4.75%, we can condense this time frame. And then if you're feeling at 50 or if you're a 30-year-old person and at 2043, you're now 53, you're not done investing, you want to keep on reinvesting or sometime in your 40s, you want to keep investing, we can do this again. We buy a property here and then we start this whole journey again, which would mean that in the future, you'd have a bigger portfolio, more rental income, and it just depends on how hard you want to go and how, how, how big you want to grow this portfolio. So I hope you've got some value out of this. If you've got any questions, just reach out to myself or the team and we'll create another whiteboard session to keep on answering your questions.